Hey guys, Nathan here. So today we're going over a super cool and easy effect that's kind of like an RGB channel shifter that makes your red or your green or blue channel a little bit bigger so you get that kind of cool glitchy effect. It's super easy and just helps keep the energy up for maybe a music video or something kind of like that. Before we get into it, be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. And you guys have definitely been doing that. We just hit the 700 subscriber mark and that's totally awesome. So thank you so much for that. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16 and this effect can totally be done in the free version of Resolve. So we just have our clip here from the first music video I shot with Problematic, Oh Lord, link down in the description. And with this effect, I find it really nice to kind of pop onto the beat. So I'm gonna to toss some headphones on just to give the song a listen. So right when that bass drum kicks in, that's where we wanna come in with our effect. So now we have to think about what we wanna achieve and how we're gonna get there. And to break this down, I'm just gonna show you it on each individual channel. So to do that, I'm gonna go into effects, grab an adjustment clip, just so I can work on top of the clip so I don't have to bother with any of the grading of the specific shot because that's not what this tutorial is about. So now we're gonna go into the color page. So now that we're in the color page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Alt Y and that's going to bring up our different channels. So we have, as you can see in this diagram here, red, green, and blue, and this is our red, green, and blue channels. And just to show you, let's click on this red channel. And if we bring up our offset, you would expect it to get more red and when you bring it down, it gets more blue. Great. So what we can do is we can click, let's say on our red node and go into our sizing. We're now gonna go into node sizing. And now if we make it bigger, you can see that our red channel then gets bigger. If we make it smaller, it gets smaller and we can do the same for each channel. Now that's all fine and dandy, but to keyframe it in the color page can be a bit of a pain in the butt. You can do keyframes in the color page, but I'm just, I'm not a big fan of it. So to keep things simple and easy, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete this and then go back into our edit page. So now we have an adjustment layer with nothing on it and we wanna go into our open effects. I wanna scroll all the way down until you see the lens distortion effect. Just stick with me here. So typically this is used for, you guessed it, lens distortion. So it gives you this weird warped image. Well, what you wanna do is go into open effects. You see here, everything is ganged together. So everything moves as one. So let's just set this to zero. Now, if we click this box to get rid of the gang, what we can do is affect each channel individually. Now, one thing this also does is it kind of moves in that warpy way. So the further something is from the middle, the larger impact it will have on the movement. And it allows you to do things super easily because you can do it all within the edit page. So let's take this back to zero and let's make it work for this effect. So we want to kind of pop out when that bass drum kicks in. So we'll go right to the beginning of it on our waveform. You can see that here. And we're just going to keyframe our channels all at zero. Now let's go into the middle of this, maybe a couple frames over. Now let's really bump out our red channel. And let's throw some blue in there for good measure too. So now you have this funky looking effect. We're then gonna go a few frames over and then have it go back to zero. So let's check it out. See that you get that nice little pop there and then you can do that over and over again. So to check out our keyframes, we can just click on this here and then we go into our little drop down menu and click the red, green and blue for our distortions. Now you have access to all the channels and what you can do is let's say for our blue distortion, maybe we wanna move it over to later in the song. Yeah, right over this snare I think is a good spot. And then we can just move it right to there. Yeah. So let's just collapse this down. And one of the nice things about using an adjustment clip is that you can copy it over to other effects super easily. So let's say we wanna drag it onto this effect. We can just alt click, drag it over and the timing should remain the same. And it just works super easily. You could do it on a clip by clip basis and just paste your attributes over. But I personally find using the adjustment clips is one of the faster ways to do it but you can use the effect for more than just those little pops. So I shot something in silhouette, which we can see here, which looks not too bad on its own. You know, it's got that little rim light around me, but if we go in 
and add our adjustment clip on top. And then we just go into open effects. We can even just type it in, type in lens. And there it is right there, our lens distortion. Now go over here, bring this back to zero, get rid of gang. Now we can have a lot of fun with it. If let's say we drag out our red channel and maybe our green and our blue a little bit. So they're all separated. So now we get this cool kind of line that for me kind of reminds me of that like Bohemian Rhapsody effect, but it's a little bit different, but you know, it just gives me those kind of vibes. So you could definitely use it for situations like this and you know, just get a funky effect going on and you can also keyframe it as well. So you don't have to use it just for little pops. Anyway, folks, that's how you do the kind of color pop effect, a super simple and easy one today. And maybe you can use it on your own projects and let me know if you do, I'd love to see them. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. And as a note, like 86% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. So if you do that, that would help me a ton. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.